பிரதம மந்திரி பெஞ்சமின் நெத்தனியாசு மீண்டும் தேர்ந்தெடுக்கப்படுவார் மீண்டும் goes to the runner, and the runner in this case is Benjamin Netanyahu, the sitting Prime Minister of Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu celebrates with supporters as the ruling Likud party scored a resounding victory in the country's election. With nearly all the votes counted, Likud appeared to have earned 30 out of the parliament's 120 seats. This is Al-Qaeda from the Satir. When ISIS brazenly took control of Iraq's second largest city back in June, it sent shockwaves throughout the country and the region. Alienated by the Maliki government and persecuted by his security forces, Mosul was fertile ground for the militants. But nearly three months after ISIS raised its black banner over the city, residents describe heavy-handed oppression and brutality under the rule of these Islamic extremists. When they first came to Mosul, they told us they would protect us and that this was a revolution, explained this man, too afraid to reveal his identity. But after the people got to know ISIS, they felt hatred towards them. The people of Mosul now live in fear of arbitrary arrests, punishment and death. Conditions in the city are rapidly deteriorating, with shortages of power, food and medicine. We are afraid to even go out, says this woman, who must wear a veil and be accompanied by a male relative. We need the international community to help. But if no one comes to their rescue, they morbidly believe the only safe haven for the people of Mosul is death. God is sending a disgusting flesh-eating plague on ISIS, thousands infected and spreading quickly. The self-declared Islamic State capital is currently experiencing some signs of the times and is in the throes of an epidemic and a number of members of the Islamic State have reportedly been inf infected. Efforts are reportedly being made to prevent the further spread of Lejmania's is skin disease which is highly virulent in the ISIS or IS stronghold. More than 2,500 cases of the flesh-eating disease have been recorded in the northeast of Raqqa. The disease is spread by flies that are attracted by the rubble and rubbish of war. <laughs> The 19th century Darara Tower, built by Nepalese royalty. And this is what's left, a World Heritage Site, where teams now look for bodies. The historical tower, it's called the Darahara Tower, very similar to Delhi's Kutub Minar in Kathmandu. A very popular destination. Now that's collapsed is what we're given to understand. That's the latest... Uh, you know that we're getting from Kathmandu where Nepal's historical Darahara Tower that was constructed way back in 1832 uh, historical significance today totally destroyed in uh, the earthquake we had those pictures or not that we brought in of uh, the building or whatever remains of it of uh, this historical tower a short while ago that tower has collapsed <laughs> 
The gunman had been sitting inside this historic African American church in Charleston for an hour before standing up and opening fire. The emergency services described a chaotic scene as they arrived, uncertain if the gunman was still in the area. But they were soon able to get the injured to hospital. The police have now issued this photograph of the suspected gunman, a white man believed to be 21 years old, who's still at large. <laughs> This morning, a white Texas police officer on administrative leave after the cell phone video captures him pulling this 15-year-old bikini-clad girl down who is black. David Cameron, Totuduvar in the Chana Nalire, our majority of Betty Pervar. David Cameron will make it by a majority of two, 326. Uh, that Labour will have 235, the Lib Dems will have just eight MPs, uh, the SNP we know have 56, and we are still projecting two uh, for UKIP, although we know that things are certainly dragging out in Thanet South. <laughs> Well, India is one of the world's fastest expanding economies, but the country's infrastructure is antiquated and cannot handle the demands of an information technology-based economy. Now the government is hoping to build so-called smart cities to address that shortcoming. <laughs> Amtrak train has crashed in Philadelphia and several people appear to be injured. 30 dead and dozens injured in train derailment accident. At least 30 people were killed and several dozens were injured when an express train derailed in India's northern state of Uttar Pradesh Friday morning. Just last month, three coaches of the Bangalore Ernakulam Intercity Express derailed, claiming at least 11 lives. Several tanker cars off the rails, uh, rails near Adina village near Montgomery and leaking oil into the Kanar River. <laughs> People will have to shell out more starting from Monday while using mobiles, eating out and travelling as a service tax rate goes up to 14%. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley in his budget had proposed to raise service tax from 12.36% including education cess to 14%. The proposal takes effect from June 1st. The tax is levied on all services except a small negative list. Some of the key services that will attract higher tax and hence become costlier are railways, airlines, banking, insurance, advertising, architecture, construction, credit cards, event management and tour operators. Madhubana bottle ude velai bharadhe desatil uyaram. Rates of liquor were hiked by the liquor shops. Tolik Kalvi Kodangalum, Matra Kodangalum, 
To the state of Tamil Nadu, the state is producing more than a lakh engineering graduates in the country every year. There are about 500 engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. More than two lakh seats are available every year. There was a time the business of engineering colleges were flourishing like anything in the state. Now it reaches the saturation point, and more than 100 colleges are ready for sale because of lack of. students to join the colleges and other issues with the mushrooming of engineering colleges many are finding it difficult to fill even half the number of seats forcing their owners to look for prospective buyers deals are struck discreetly between owners of colleges in distress and buyers most of whom are players in the education field Farmers reside in Maharashtra are intensifying with as many as 1088 cases reported in 2015 by the end of May. Suicide rate had escalated with the onset of drought in 2015 that destroyed crops and unseasonal rain and hailstorms made the prices worse. Widespread rainfall across Punjab, Haryana and Chandigarh on Saturday brought happiness to farmers though it affected normal life in some cities and towns of the region the maximum temperatures at most places has been 3 to 7 degrees below normal since friday weather officials said here farmers in both food grain producing states said that the rain was good for the recently sown paddy crop farmers have been waiting for the monsoon to arrive this year the arrival was a bit delayed but a good rainfall will help the paddy crop Farmer Karnail Singh of Dera Basti told IANS, "Ludhiana in Punjab and Chandigarh received nearly 70 mm and over 50 mm rainfall respectively since Friday. Other places in Punjab and Haryana also experienced light to moderate rainfall. The day temperatures are likely to remain below normal." <laughs> Chinese authorities say the magnitude 7.8 quake that shook Nepal on April 25th caused Mount Everest to move 3 centimeters. That's right, geologists in China released a report this past week detailing the sizable movement of the world's highest peak. The state-run China Daily said China's National Administration of Surveying, Mapping and Geoinformation explained that the mountain moved 40 centimeters to the northeast and rose 3 centimeters in the past decade. The scale of the flooding has been difficult to believe. In southwestern Peru, it almost submerged this bridge. Further south in neighboring Chile, the rain is still causing trouble. Copiapo is the capital of the Atacama region, normally one of the driest places on earth. It normally gets about a centimeter of rain a year, not this year. It's taken the authorities completely by surprise. இந்தியா முழுவதும்
ஆயிரக்கணக்கானோர் உயிரிழப்பார் Do you begin with that deadly storm being called historic tonight, a state of emergency and now at least seven dead. And this evening, the urgent call to action, the National Guard, those Humvees moving in, drivers trapped for hours being rescued. No food, no water. We're literally surrounded by about, you know, four to five feet of snow. சூரியனுடைய உஷ்ணமான காற்றுகள் அதன் வெளிப்பகுதியில் அதிகமாய் வீசுகிறது அதிகமாய் வீசுகிறப்படினாலே ஹீட் வேவ்ஸில் அநேக ஆயிரக்கணக்கான மக்கள் இறந்து போவார்கள் அநேக நாடுகளிலே இதுவரைக்கும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நூறு ஆண்டுகள் இல்லாத அளவுக்கு வெப்பம் அதிகரிக்கும் இது உலகிற்கு ஒரு பெரிய எச்சரிப்பு Now if you're watching France 24 from Western Europe chances are you're boiling here in Paris the temperatures are expected to reach 39 or 40 degrees Celsius today that's 102 Fahrenheit and it's even hotter in southwestern France an extreme heat wave is sweeping across India hundreds of people have died either from a sunstroke or dehydration temperatures are soaring in some places touching 48 degrees celsius that's 118 degrees fahrenheit the states of andhra pradesh and telangana in the south are the worst hit the capital new delhi and parts of central india are affected too john's commercial hub is in a state of emergency a searing heat wave has stretched medical services in karachi to their limit Morgues are filled to capacity and hospitals are overwhelmed with heat stroke patients. Karachi ne kabhi is tarah ka weather dekha hi nahi. Karachi has never seen this type of weather. This is a very difficult situation. People get fever followed by headaches and fits and then they fall unconscious. The army and paramilitary rangers have set up emergency camps across the city to help treat people and to hand out water and dehydration salt. The frantic search for survivors goes on round the clock following Nepal's biggest earthquake in 80 years. The injured were brought to hospitals in trucks and on rickshaws. The hospitals are so inundated though, they're running out of space. Earthquakes of this high 7.9 magnitude are rare. This is the worst to hit this Himalayan nation in over 80 years. So far more than 100 fatalities have been reported, but observers on the ground say that figure is likely to rise significantly. Arara Tower, it was reduced to a stump and there are reports of people trapped underneath. These extraordinary pictures have emerged too of what looks like a statue being recovered. But this is a man buried alive and pulled to safety. Many others haven't been so lucky. On Everest, climbers were sent running for their lives from base camp as the quake shook them from their tents and triggered avalanches. At this time of year, many climbers are on the mountain. Experts say the earthquake was geologically very shallow. meaning greater damage india ukkum seena ukkum edai nalla thodal irukku taking his power push forward prime minister narendra modi is in china on a three day visit whatever concerns there are by the indian side prime minister modi definitely will raise them with the chinese side and i think between china and india you know diplomacy should prevail uh calm minds you know stable minds should prevail whatever differences we may have i think we can talk about it with the ultimate goal of improving friendship 
கீழ்மலைகள் புதிய இடங்கள் வந்து மக்களை சேரப்படுத்தும் Active again after being dormant for over 40 years. This was the view of the Calbuco volcano from the city of Puerto Montt, a gateway to Patagonia, a major tourist destination. There'd been no sign that the volcano was about to erupt. The government was forced to act quickly. Verdict has been given by the people and uh, Mighty Pala Sirisena of the New Democratic Front has been deemed as a clear winner by the Elections Commissioner with uh, 6,217,162 votes cast around the island and over a majority of 449,072 over presidential candidate Mahinda Rajapaksa.